Hello there and welcome to AKE Interactive's basic weathering series and this is episode 5. Now in episode 5 we're going to be taking a look at streaking effects. Um, what we're trying to represent here on the model is we want to sort of represent um, the build up of dirt in all the recesses and, uh, and, and detailed areas and having that dirt being um, streaking down through stuff like rain and all sorts of weather and if you go outside look at your car you'll see how you've got these kind of streaks coming down from maybe your wing mirror your windows and stuff which is just basically dirt on your car rain um, brings it down in streaks that's what we're trying to represent um, now AK Interactive they do um, a whole product range of all sorts of different colors to represent streaking um, for our whip it here we're going to be using um, AK Interactive's Panzer Grey um, now this is okay it's designed for Panzer Grey but it does also look really good on our sort of brown um, colour here for our whip it um, now as always give it a good good shake right and then what I'm using for this I'm using a, a, again our double zero Windsor and Newton um, brush here you do want to have sort of like a really nice um, sort of fine pointy brush for this um, because the, the better you sort of apply it the better you can sort of fade it later on um, which I'll show you throughout this episode so first off what we're going to do just dip it into our uh, AK Interactive Streaking Effects Panzer Grey and what you want to do you want to sort of pick out um, those areas where you know you're going to have dirt and grime building up and rain is going to make it streak down. So um, for our whippet here, we have all of these nuts and bolts, right? Which we can just nicely start streaking this down from the bolts, right? And you want to try and make them as nice and as random as possible, with some being longer than others. You know, it being more built up, say, in certain areas, to have some spaces, to have it random. We've got this little gun port here. You know, this is going to be a good area for um, all sorts of dirt and grime to build up and then streak off. Okay. Uh, along this edge here as well, we can just streak some of this down. A little hard doing this on camera, but hopefully you get the idea. It's nice streaks like so. Right now, the whole point of this is, you know, there is two stages to this. Right, so you don't have to worry about say your streaks being not neat or anything like that, um, because we're gonna you know, liven it up and make it more realistic in a in a bit. But don't be afraid to get some of those bolts that are in the middle um, to do some streaks there as well and all sorts of raised detail as well. Right, um, so that's that's um, sort of like a theatre for um, World War World War One trench warfare. Um, We'll put that to one side because we've got to let it dry. Uh, we don't want it to let it go completely dry. Just maybe leave it 10, 15 minutes just so it starts to have a bit of bite. Um, the next one we have is our Desert Warfare, right? Um, now with this one, again, because we've got this um, camo pattern, well, because so, uh, we've got this um, Gulf Armour colour on here, it's a very light colour, so you've got to be careful with what streaking colour you put on. Um, if you put it on, if you, you if you pick too much of a dark colour, it can be way too overpowering. So, um, a good colour for this 
again give it a good shake is we've got AK Interactive Streaking Grime for DAC vehicles which is AK067. Um, this is a, a sort of a, a more lighter colour which is really good for, um, for our Gulf armour here. Right, and again, you want to pick out those places where we're going to get that build up of dirt and grime. Right, and you want to keep it nice and random and have those longer streaks, shorter streaks, pointier streaks, and in all those places where you're going to have that weathering. Right, so I'm going to carry on putting a load of streaks in here now. And then we'll come back when we're all dry. Right, now here's the hard part. The hard part is, is blending it and feathering it and sort of stubbing it down. Um, again, you know, always come in with a good old um, odorless finners, AK049. For this, I'm gonna be using a flat brush, which is AK size two. You can use um, flat brushes as well. We've got all sorts of different sizes you can use. Um, but, you know, I, I like to use the flat brush. Now, with this, it's, it's it's all about the hydrating um, and letting to dry, rehydrating um, our streaking effect that we've just put on. This has had about 15 minutes to dry, so um, you know it's it's not dry dry. You know it's not gone rock hard. I mean, if you left this for like a couple of days for the enamel to properly dry, and then you try to do this it would be a lot harder to sort of rehydrate the paint. As much as I can like touch this, you know, it feels dry. It's not cured dry. So, um, you know, you, you want it at that point where it's touched dry, but, um, you know, it's only had like so many minutes to dry. So again, um, you know, dip it into your enamel thinners, um, just on a kitchen paper towel, we can just, you know, touch it so that we make our brush, um, moist not wet and what we're going to do here is we're just going to do a quick brush down all right just a quick brush down all right but we don't want to be um, overdoing it at this point right we just want a quick brush down kitchen paper towel just clean off our paintbrush maybe dip into the thinners again just to make sure it's clean touch the kitchen paper towel make sure the brush is moist right and again you know just showing you again we can just brush down maybe just once or twice and it rehydrates it really really quickly and it starts to feather it in um, but the the crucial thing here is to um, not overdo it if I can just maybe show you um, which what shall I show you I'll show you this, this little bit here right if I was to just come in and keep playing at it and keep streaking at it right what you'll see is eventually it's gone right so for that reason let's just clean this up fully for that reason you see how quickly that just cleans up it's gone you know you want to do one or two passes getting your streak going stop let it dry again um, and then we hit it again with another another pass which we'll just let that dry now and we'll hit it again in a bit um, but again just showing you on our golf armored vehicle here right just touch kitchen paper towel make sure your brush is nice and moist and again we're just going to you know take a pass or two right and just let those streaks just start to rehydrate and sort of start to feather in nicely right but as you can see it's not looking a hundred percent um the way you sort of want it um you know but if we carry on brushing at it it's just going to disappear as i've shown you so you need to let it dry again for another 10 15 minutes and then we'll have another whack at streaking so there it is after it's dried a bit and hopefully what you can see is i mean although we've only had one pass at this some of these streaks actually don't look too bad so we probably don't have to go off and 
mess with all of them. So the same technique, dip into your odorless thinners, make sure your paintbrush is nice and moist. And again, we can just start to pass over maybe some of these streaks that we just want to sort of tidy up, make a bit better. Don't be afraid to brush upwards and downwards. Right, we don't have to be just going um, streaking down with gravity. We can um, pull these up if we so wish. Right, because we might have pulled that streak down a little bit too much. Um, so by brushing upwards, we're sort of brushing the streak back up to its its source. And just down here, maybe we could just put these streaks, get them a little bit more tidied up just at the front. But yeah, hopefully I'm sort of seeing you're getting sort of like a nice sort of light effect there with that streaking. You want to be light with things like desert vehicles because let's face it, it's in the desert, it doesn't really rain that much. You're not really going to have much in the lines of streaking. So, you know, using that DAC um, colour is rather good because it's a lighter sort of streaking colour. And by applying it lightly as well, you sort of get that um, quite nicely as well. Uh, on our World War One here, we can sort of like come back and where we I don't know, might not sort of like all these streaks we've done. I mean, I won't mind sort of pulling some of these back up. Right. Just here, maybe. Just give them that sort of once over. Right. And the thing is, I mean, you might not be completely happy after a second pass with how the streaks are sort of turning out. So don't worry if you feel like, okay, let's let it dry again for another 10, 15 minutes and we'll give it another pass. But just remember, if you keep on playing with it, it's just gonna disappear. Um, so you do want to, you know, just take a look at it. Does it need a bit more? See, I've basically almost destroyed that one there because it was quite light already. But still, you know, we've got some streaks going on there. So hopefully that sort of helps um, sort of explain streaking a bit. Uh, really the key is to just not keep playing with it. Let it dry, let it stick a bit more again, and then give it another go. Uh, playing around with it is just going to sort of remove them very quickly. We've got a big streak here. You know, I wouldn't mind sort of thinning that out feathering it in a bit more, sort of like not making it so potent. So up and down, try not to play with it too much. And there we go, we've got that little streak sorted there as well. Um, and then it's just a case of going all over this model, which being World War One, I, I am sort of gonna really sort of, you know, put a fair few streaks into this one hopefully as you can see there's quite a fair few there because we've got so many nuts and bolts and being trench warfare you know you can really go to town with this you can if you so wish go off and um use lots of different colors as well you don't just have to go around with um you know say a, a streaking what was it i used for this one it was the panzer one i think yeah the panzer gray uh, you don't have to go around just using the same color you can Put like three different streaking colors in here you could go off they do have a rust color as well so you could sort of maybe around rusty areas particularly put some rusty streaks in there uh, so you can sort of really sort of liven it up even more um, using the different colors and everything but uh, there you go that is streaking um, you don't necessarily have to seal this in with a gloss coat as long as you give it maybe 24 hours to dry so that the um, enamel does stop to bite and sort of cure uh, and then really the next episode next episode we're going to be uh, we're, we're basically going to be looking at stuff like mud splatter and thick mud and, and getting all that cool muddy stuff on here which almost brings this basic weathering series to an end so uh, I'll catch you in the next episode Thank you.